Hey y'all, I'm Nikki. Max is not going to join us today, I don't think. We'll see if he wakes up from his nap in time. But um, the last video I made, I was talking about dog carriers for bigger dogs. And since then, we've actually, I've actually learned a few things. And one of the things I learned was that we have one more addition we need to make to the recommendations for the add-ins that we add to the larger dog carriers to make them work even better for you dog owners who have large dogs. This is specifically referring to people who are um, actually wanting to carry a larger dog around on their shoulder. I know a lot of you that have larger dogs, you're not doing that. You are just using the carrier while you're on public transportation. I talked about that in that last video. And then as soon as you're off public transportation, you're just hooking your dog up to a leash and walking them. And that's when that backpack feature comes in handy. But this is specifically for those of you who are actually going have a larger dog, but you still want to be able to carry them, actually carry them around on your shoulder. So this is a carrier that I have just made. It's going out the door tomorrow morning to an adorable little Corgi. Um, but it has all the features that I really want to show you for people who have larger dogs because this doggy mommy wants to be able to carry her baby around. So the one thing that was in the last video <clears throat> that uh, I recommend to all people who have larger dogs whether you're going to be carrying them in the carrier or you're just going to be using it on public transportation is the back zip and it zips all the way down your dog can just walk in and then you can just put it back together and zip it back up so your dog doesn't so you don't have to try to lift your dog into the carrier or squish the whole thing down so they can walk in that makes it a whole lot easier so the fact that you can unzip that they can just walk in and you can zip them in. That I encourage all people who have larger dogs um, to get that. The other thing that this one has that I usually suggest for the carrier, uh, for if you're going to be using it like on a train or something, is these uh, grab handles. But she wanted these grab handles on it and those just make it a whole lot easier to lift rather than trying to get these bigger handles. <clears throat> now the other thing that th this is the thing that we learned. This is the thing that we've learned through our fabulous customers who have larger dogs, have given me wonderful feedback, letting me know that this is what happens. Now these handles right now are the same length. So this is how I would normally make a carrier where the two handles are the same length. But watch what happens, because this is a larger, this is a wider carrier. This is a 10 inch wide carrier. So watch what happens when I put this on my shoulder, the way you would be carrying it. See how the bottom doesn't sit level? It's because this, this handle has to go all the way over here. So this one's coming straight down, but this one's going at an angle. So it's pulling the whole carrier at an angle. So we have a new add-in um, that you can add either one or both of the handles can be adjustable. So I just put a little adjustable thing here. So with this one, you would just take the outside handle and just make it a little bit longer than the inside handle. Now when you're just holding it straight, it looks odd, but as soon as you put it on your shoulder, you can see that sets a lot more level. And you might even want to take that out a little bit more. And this just makes it so much more comfortable for your dog to sit in the carrier because they don't feel like they're being, you know, leaning over to one side. It makes it a whole lot easier for you. There we go. So you've got a nice straight carrier. Now, the problem is this outside strap, especially when you get up to this, this is 10 inches wide. When you get up to these, that outside strap has a tendency to slip. Now you can put the outside strap on your shoulder first and then put the other strap over top of it and that helps to hold it on your shoulder. But the, um, where is it? I know I've got it in there. This is that little strap pad that we make. 
and it's just a it's a quilted strap pad with some velcro if you put that around this shoulder pad that's that just holds those two together so then you don't have to worry about that outside pad slipping because this is going to hold it in place so that's kind of the new solution for people who have large dogs but who actually want to be able to carry them on their shoulder I suggest anything bigger than six to eight inches um, that you would want to go with at least one adjustable strap. This uh, dog owner, she actually wanted both adjustable straps, which is nice if you have two dog parents who are very different heights, so you can adjust how high or how low this carrier hits you. I'm actually very tall and my husband's actually quite a bit shorter than me, so it... Um, it would be nice for him to be able to, you know, raise that carrier up a little bit so it doesn't hit him quite so low. So that is one of the new add-ins that we have for our dog carriers is those adjustable straps. So the adjustable straps in combination with the strap pad and of course in, in, in combination with that wonderful walk-in zipper, that is the ultimate solution right now until I hear more feedback from our customers. At this point, this is the ultimate uh, combination of ingredients to make a great carrier for those of you that want to be able to carry your larger dogs around. So I hope this helps and go make today an adventure and make sure you take your best friend with you too. Bye y'all.